NVIDIA shares have nearly tripled year to date, are up 50% in just the past month. Option traders are betting this juggernaut isn't slowing down anytime soon. Amber Group co CIO Chris Sidiel has got the action. Hey, Chris. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Good. What yeah, you see so in NVIDIA? Uh, I'm seeing a lot, right? So uh, it feels like this recent AI boom has really sparked this new stage of investors flocking to risk assets, right? And NVIDIA has become the new momentum toy for traders, right? So from a call side activity, people are just piling in and buying NVIDIA calls. And I think it's reflected in the SKU profile, specifically the short dated SKU profile. I think the uh, other thing is that when you look at the notes on NVIDIA, you look at the open interest and most of the open interest is on NVIDIA July 500 calls, which really shows that investors are seeking this type of convexity, right? It feels somewhat similar to 2021 where people are hoarding into these trades in a sense of FOMO because maybe they don't want to miss the next AI boom. Um, but like, for example, today, you know, you look at uh, the volume and you saw a lot of volume in the June 16, 420 calls where NVIDIA just blew right through that. And then the second highest was the June 430 calls, which it just blew right through that. Right. So I think what you're seeing is a lot of momentum hoarding and uh, followed by some gamma squeezing. When some people are just hoarding into the derivatives, you tend to get these sort of little gamma squeeze pops that follow along as well. Yeah. Dan, yesterday you said we had this whole conversation with Caleb Silver from Investopedia about what you would do with $10,000. Yeah, it went, it went to zero in a day. No, <laughs> I, I mean, listen, I, you know, I think Guy mentioned this this morning. It got back above $1 trillion in market cap. Off its lows, it gained $60 billion in market cap. They're going to do $42 billion in sales this year. Let's just say they blow it out. That's 50. That's just a, not a natural sort of thing. But I think the way Chris is laying it out is really interesting is that you're seeing this hoarding towards the thing that is working. And he talked about a term skew that we don't use a lot. Usually you see um, puts more expensive as people reach for protection. In a name like this, you're seeing calls more expensive than puts. There's more demand for upside than there is for downside, and that just tells you that things are getting a little out of whack. So if you had $10,000 today, Dan, would you put it into I, I probably, I probably did it again today. Good, <laughs> they call it good money after bad.